This here is box number three overall. This is going to be the first one of the two that I'm going to go through in each of these videos. So let's have a look and see what all came in this one. Alright, here's what we're looking at. ST-238, that's a good one. Interesting. Uh, some kind of Mini Scribe 3000 series, 80, or Mini Scribe 8000 series. It looks like a Calloc and another mini scribe. Let's pull all these out and see what they look like from actual, <laughs> not glancing at them in the box. So here's what we got in there KL320, some mini scribe 8000 series. What are these actually? 8438 and 8425, pretty standard stuff. Uh, ST4026, some microscience drives, a bunch of mini scribe 3000. I think they're all 3425s, sadly. There's an ST-238R, a 277R, and a 225. Uh, we're going to just start hooking them up in no, or, no particular order and see if they work. Bearings sound all right. I don't think that's working though. It didn't seem like it seeped anywhere. Maybe the lock is stuck on. Here's a 225. Perfect. That sounds like it's working fantastic. Here's a 277R1. I don't think this drive is any good. It did actually complete its seat test, but I don't know what that's worth. But you can hear the spindle was even having trouble maintaining its speed through that head crash. So this is probably garbage. Yet more 8438s. Okay, smoke from that one. What cooked there? Something got really hot really fast. Well, whatever it was, it's already let the smoke out. I don't know, I don't really see anything on here that's uh, in that corner. That looks like maybe it was damaged, so I have no idea. Fun. Let's move on to the next one. This is an 8425, but given our luck, I'm going to watch the bottom this time. Absolutely nothing. Alright, here's a KL320. That's a good noise. That one's not good. Microscience HH1050. These are pretty well known for bad tantalum capacitors and uh, failing solenoid locks. So I bet you anything that this doesn't work. Yeah. Dead short across probably the 12 volt pins because that light flashes. So that'll be why this one doesn't work. Another 1050. Well, it started to do something, and then it immediately went to a short. So that's fun. I just noticed this. Check out that bodge. That's kind of fun. Here's a 1060, which still has its faceplate, green LED and everything. But it looks like the shocks have been, like, ripped apart in some in this for some reason, which I don't know how that would even happen.
stuck lock. No surprise there. ST238R. Beautiful. Sounds like it's working. This is a 3425 with some visible rust on the bottom. It has the faceplate with the green LED though, which is kind of a nice option. You don't usually see that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I kind of figured that would be stuck. So, let's go to the next one, I guess. Another 3425. This one, again, has some visible rust and other kind of chemical damage. Faceplate with a red LED. Hey, that actually, <laughs> I wasn't even watching it. That one actually works, kinda. It fails its fast seek, but that I almost guarantee is gonna work. It doesn't even sound terrible. Another 3425. This one's in pretty nice shape, but no faceplate. it doesn't want to spin up at all. Nothing. Won't spin up. Okay. Here's another 3425. Uh, this one, the spindle is totally free. It has a faceplate with red LED. It looks in pretty decent shape, except bad 7 of 94. So this drive is uh, probably not good anymore, if I had to guess. But let's watch it anyways. Error code. I almost wonder if that's diagnostic mode. That doesn't look like a regular error code to me. Either that or it just failed at seek. This one I think we can probably bring back to life. Really swimming in the mini scribes here, huh? That tried to seek and failed. I bet this one's probably... Oh, ooh, that's a good noise. Maybe it's not fixable. We'll find out later. Another 3425 looks a little bit dingy. Has a faceplate, and I went, huh, as I was going to plug it in, because... Someone tried this before. Weirdly, that wasn't even that hard to get out. No seek at all. Probably needs a bit of oil. And here is the second container for this video. Just have a glance inside real quick. Ooh, a 3000 series. Another Mitsubishi, another Mini Scribe. Uh, 151, of course. Now let's get these out of here and have a look. There were some really interesting drives in there. Three CMIs. Two of them are 642, well, 6426 and 6426S. I don't know what this last one is. It's probably a 6426 or a 6640. It's definitely a 6000 series. 
We got this NEC SD thing, I'm pretty sure. Some mini scribes, including voice coil ones. ST-151. We got an HH-725B and an HH-825 and another, uh, another Mitsubishi. So let's see if any of these work in no particular order. IBM's first choice, the 6426S. Uh huh. Nope, I think this one has a problem. Uh, these drives tend to stick, not due to stiction, but just because of the sitting. You can see all the dust all over this thing. And uh, I don't want to leave it on because it will kill those drive transistors. So we'll move on to the next one. Another 6426, not an S, no faceplate this time. Same situation, doesn't surprise me. And the last one is a really late model 6426S, made in Singapore. That one might be working. <laughs> really nice quiet spindle on this one too. And they said the quality went down when it went to Singapore? I don't know man, this this one, this one's in really good shape. NEC D5655, I'm pretty sure this is SD but we're gonna spin it up anyways. I think that one's working. Rodem RO5090, this is a fairly interesting drive. Well, boring, but more interesting than the SC251s over and over. Nope. Failed at seek test. Not surprised. Another really nice looking 3425 with its faceplate and everything. This one sounds awful and it says failed 6 of 94, so not expecting a miracle here, but let's give it a try. Error code. Didn't seek at all. Why is my camera not focused ever? Another ST-151. I'm guessing that this sticker said bad 6 of 94. Wow, stiction, just like I expected. So this is a Miniscribe 3053. Look at that defect list. <laughs> I think that one works. Neat. Another 3053 with fewer factory defects. And it doesn't spin. Let's give that one more chance to work. Nothing. Miniscribe 3085. This is a drive that I really hope it works.
Really cool sound. I think that's working. Oh yeah, that's working. Nice. That's a good addition right there. Another Mitsubishi. This one says bad, and it says 2006. <laughs> Well, that seems okay. Yeah, it even returned to park when I turned it off. Wow, okay, that one seems like it's working. This is a Microscience HH825, which is like the performance improved version of a 725. And one of their distinguishing physical features is that they have an oil damper on the end of the stepper, which fell off as soon as I touched it. So let me try and put that back on and we'll see if this one works. Ooh, that's really bad noise. That didn't look right to me. Let's try that one more time. No, that, that ain't working right. That needs exercise. But I think this one can be made to seek at least, probably not made to work. This is an HH725B, which is like the compact OEM drive from this era, and I believe this is the last one for today. Working! Just like microscience. They always work. They kind of don't die when they're like these 700 and 800 series like these stepper drives are stout the voice coil ones junk thanks for watching